Good morning, welcome to Shoreditch. I'm Alan. I make video about eight places to visit around the world, including London. So this is another episode of the marvels of East London. In this video, I'm going to take you to the top 10 coffee shops in Shoreditch, in my opinion. On a serious note, I cannot drink 10 coffee in a day. So this video will be filmed over a few days. But if you're in London for a week or so, at least you know where to go and this is the video for you. Um, I always keep the last, the best thing last, so stick until the end. We're gonna start with a place where coffee is made by AI. You're gonna see what I'll talk about in a minute. Having an ice latte, uh, ice americano, ice black coffee. Very hot today, so a good day to do that. What is um, unique about this place is that every coffee I told you is made by machine, the AI that calculates the right amount of coffee and the concentration of the coffee machine, as you can see that they made there. The reason they do that is because the barista doesn't want to waste too much time making coffee and rather spend time with the customer and give like a better customer experience and so. And also the coffee is very high rated. It's one of the cheapest high rated coffee in London. A cup of coffee is like one or one pound ninety, which you can't find a filter coffee. One pound ninety, you can't find um, anywhere else. So this is one two ninety. Founded in New York and they have 20 branches now in London and they are located always near train stations. I personally wouldn't go to a coffee place that is made by AI but we have to live in the time so and it's a pretty decent coffee to be honest. It's very nice and I'm European so I'm very fussy with my coffee and this is totally one that I will recommend. So, because we are around the corner and I couldn't resist, we came to Dishoom for breakfast. This is the best breakfast in London. I'm gonna do a full review of this restaurant in another episode. So if you want to see that, please subscribe. Here they do the best breakfast in London because it's a combination of a breakfast naan, um, Indian naan bread, where they will put bacon and egg inside with a relish, delicious. So I'm gonna have my breakfast, then I'm gonna go to work, and I'll see you tomorrow for another coffee. Cheers! The next day. Is it coffee time yet? Okay, let's go. So now, we're gonna head to a very famous place in London, independent, high quality, coffee roaster made in the UK. They shipped internationally to about 1,500 independent coffee shops around the world. They make sure that every single batch that they produce is accurate and tastes the same. So unlike like yesterday where everything was done by AI, this one is handcrafted here in the UK. So let's go and test it. So there we go, all pressed coffee. Consistently good, always. A lot of independent shops in London have that. And when you see that, you know that it's a good coffee shop. Uh, it's a posh thing, London thing, I guess. <laughs> Next stop over there, Jolene. It's also a coffee shop, 
but we already had coffee here all day, but there is my favorite place to grab a sandwich for lunchtime because it's all the bread is fresh made in the morning in their bakery. They are a restaurant in Stock Newington, which is um, has like some Mediterranean inspired menu that change every week. The food is outstanding. Next review as well when I do the restaurant. And uh, they opened just one uh, little joint here in Shoreditch in this very nice um, atmosphere. As you can see, people sitting outside there, uh, queuing for their little bread, a little bread and sandwich. And the coffee is slightly cheaper there. So Jolene will be in the rank of my top 10 because they do very good coffee, reasonably priced, and amazing sandwiches and pastries. I'm European, it's not really easy to find good pastries in London, but they are evolving. So, it's on the list. Very good sandwich. I got like a, the goat cheese one. I'm gonna eat it at home. So, how do I rate my coffees? It's like, I'm from Europe, so I'm very strict with the kind of coffee I'm requesting. So, my test is always to ask for a long black. If the barista don't understand what a long black is, then we are friends. Because I, I hate when they serve you coffee in a bucket. Long black is a double espresso with a tiny bit of water in a small cup. So, see you in the next coffee shop. The next day. Morning. Where is my new podcast studio? Podcast corner. Can I love it? What do you think? My podcast is really good actually. I discuss everything travel related. Lake in Bio. Talking about podcasts, I listen to Andrew Elberman, which is a neurologist scientist on YouTube or in any other podcast platform. Podcast is really good because his theory is about how to keep energized during the day and he talks about when you wake up you're gonna go for a walk with no sunglasses on so to allow the sun to come into your eyes when it's not sunny you walk for half an hour then you exercise and after that you have a cold shower which ice cold shower which I don't often do and then you can take your caffeine so in between the moment you wake up and the moment you have your cup of coffee, there's two hours in between. And actually, it doesn't recommend coffee, it recommend yerba mate, which is a um, green tea from um, South America. And I've um, actually been doing it, I've been trying it, and I've got to admit, it does work. It uh, gives you this slow release energy. But today, it's not working. And on top of that, we are here to talk about coffee. So I'm gonna take you to two more very cool coffee shop in Shoreditch. Let's go. So as we are in the topic of health, I'm bringing you here to Gecko, which is a vegan coffee shop. Obviously the coffee is not vegan, well, I guess that could be argued. The food is vegan. So if you want to be healthy and have a hot, flat white, this is the best place to come here in Shoreditch. And it's a great place as well to do some work in the afternoon. Great Wi-Fi, very cozy space, and um, original coffee machine. I really like it. Well, actually, if everything is on the, the, the counter and you just see the head of the coffee machine, I really like it. And the coffee is nice and smooth. I need to ask them where they get it from, and I will tell you in a bit. And for those who want to be a bit more extreme with their health, the next place will be more interesting for you, so let's go. So the coffee was from a place called Kiss the Hippo. Never heard of this company, but I will research them, because the coffee was really smooth. Like, you know when you have a black coffee, you're always like, ooh, like this, but this is just like strong, but not aggressive. 
So. So I'm not a vegan and I'm definitely not paying 10 pounds to eat mushrooms. So I went to a very trusty bagel place down in Brickland, which is next to Gecko as well. So there we go. Salt beef bagel. Six, six pounds and I will be satisfied for the rest of the afternoon. So here we go, stay on the health topic, we're coming to this coffee shop, which is based under the Oxen Arches, it's called Legacy, it's a martial arts training center, and they also have um, coffees for, um, to give you energy when you're fighting, and also juices, so I'm with the juice. As I said earlier, it's taken a few days to shoot this video, and it's been raining all day, it's the only time I have to make this video and I already had coffee this morning. So I definitely recommend it and it's also a good way to support uh, local business. We just opened recently. So if that's your kind of thing, you want to train and have a nice coffee after you have trained, remember Andrew Oberman advice. So even if you're not into martial art, it's a good place that I want to recommend because it's a local business and I want to support where I live, I want to support local business instead of always going to fancy places. So that's definitely making one of the top 10 coffee shop in Shoreditch. The next day. that origin, very minimalist like and well-designed coffee shop and it's a great place to come to do some work, read a book and be chill. Another great thing to mention is the coffee is roasted in the UK, down in Cornwall. So, local business, sustainable and very good coffee. The next day Morning. So we are off to a bit of an adventure today. We have the same coffee shop in East London, but that one is not as fun as the one we're gonna go to. I usually don't recommend branches, but this one is also independently roasted in London. They have different branches around the country, around the city, I would say, but the one we're going to is fun. Attendant coffee shop, let's go. This one is the best one because it used to be an old gentleman toilet that they converted into a, shop, a coffee shop. So let's go down and check it out. Woo! Do not fall. <laughs> coffee was top-notch. So the neighborhood we are in now is called Fritzovia. 
It's also very nice for restaurants, bars, coffee shop, and it's not far from the main shopping street of uh, Oxford Street. If you like this kind of thing, there we go. So now we are in Ozone, in the most beautiful street in Trowditch, Leona Street. The coffee here is top notch. They are coming from New Zealand. They've been established in London for the last 11 years. And the thing that makes them a good coffee shop is like they are big cup certified, so everything is sustainable. They know the origin of the coffee. They are making sure that everyone is treated fairly. And they try to adopt a kitchen that is a zero waste policy. There's two of them in Shoreditch, one here in Leonard Street and another one in Broadway Market, which is uh, their biggest eatery. So definitely one not to miss. Ozone. Let's go. There we go, awesome. Take away cup because it's too loud here to blow. But it's been roasted. It's one of the biggest roastery in the UK. They uh, roasted the ear even before, but now they stop. Definitely one to recommend in your next visit to London. The next day. Make some tea. I don't want net on tea. I want a caffeine fix. Let's go. So Fix is, is my favorite neighborhood coffee shop. And uh, they changed the name actually. Now they are SWD. They are in a very cool neighborhood, which is mine, of course. And uh, what I love there is like, you can go in the afternoon if you're bored of working from home. I go there, sit on my laptop, as you can see people doing that. And also, the good thing, they also have quality coffee, because their coffee comes from Clemson and Son, which is coffee that is roasted here in East London. When I say roasted in London, the coffee of course comes from Colombia, Costa Rica, Congo, everywhere in the world, but the roasting process is made here in the UK, which is, makes it quite unique. And um, this is why we call it also, we call Shoreditch, Acne, East London, or this we call them hipster area, because um, everything is made locally to serve the local people and local coffee owner. Cheers. Quality. It closes at 6 p.m. So, great place to go even on a Sunday afternoon. So, see you in the next coffee place. Morning, coffee shop of the day, paper and cup. This is our local coffee shop. It is also a charity. So all the coffees that they sell goes to charity and the clothes that are inside as well. There's actually a recovering center around the corner for addicts where they can find shelters, there's 16 beds, and they can have a shower and everything if they live on the street. So I think that is a good one to add to the list if you want to give back to charity, free pound coffee, and uh, it goes a long way. And it's very cute, look at this, like such a cute place. There's another similar coffee shop around the corner over there called Aida, but this is not a charity shop, this is more like a concept store slash coffee shop, where people also do some work, as you can see here. There's no point reviewing it because they're selling all press coffee, which we already reviewed a few days back. But uh, it's a good place to go if you want to buy some clothes and drink some coffee. So, pepper and cup. 
a bit disappointed with the coffee, if I'm honest. But there we go, we paid three pounds for charity. But I needed a good coffee. So, went back to Old Press, <laughs> which I think, in our opinion, is still one of the best roasted coffees in London. But, don't despair, because this is the end of our first episode of the London series. We might go back to other coffee shops where I will find you the best coffees in London, not only Shoreditch. So, if you want to see other places or the neighborhood, please leave a comment. If you like this video, I will uh, ask you to give me a like. And if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. And um, up here you'll find some travel content. And down here, like more, more London theme video. So that's it. Thanks for watching and live inspired.